Take a look at this. It's something out of a science fiction movie. A home that communicates with you. And there's a place like it right in our own backyard. The James Haley Veterans Hospital in Tampa is home to the first ever smart home rehabilitation center. Lauren Pastrana got a sneak peek at the technology and what it means for the future treatment of brain and memory related disorders. Lauren. Kale, this smart home won't make your dinner or clean your bathroom, but its implications are no less significant. The technology in place at the Poly Trauma Rehabilitation Center at the Tampa VA can help make life easier for survivors of traumatic brain injuries. We met one such man, but he is just one of thousands who can benefit from this groundbreaking form of rehab. Slow yet steady. Each step Sergeant Anthony Torres takes heals both his body and his mind. They said I have a memory problem, like uh, short term. Sergeant Torres suffered a traumatic brain injury while serving in Afghanistan in May. It was a early day. Um, we're doing a, we were just going to a police station. Two minutes, not even three minutes, the bomb went off, and I just don't remember anything else. There were five in the vehicle, and four died. Only, I'm the only survivor. The road to recovery led Sergeant Torres to the James A. Haley Veterans Hospital in Tampa, where he's being treated along with nine other patients at the Poly Trauma Rehabilitation Center. Most of these individuals, when they have these traumatic brain injuries, especially in the war type, have trouble with what they call executive functioning or functioning. Um, uh, higher skills of, of cognitive thinking where they have to think how to organize a day. Recognizing the challenges for patients, doctors had the idea to turn the rehab facility into a smart home of sorts, one that would prepare vets for life outside the hospital setting. I just sort of sat there and I had a eureka moment and in which said, oh, we could use tracking technology to give prompts uh, if they um, if people, you know, forget to do something. Tags like this one will track you all over the facility, even if you want to leave. But before you can go, you have to make sure you check out. If you don't, you'll see a message like this one, and your name will turn red on the nurse's station computer. The checkout process is simple. You just have to determine where you're going and for how long. It helps patients become more independent in determining their daily schedules. The technology has a specific function, and the function is to assist, to make life easier for the veteran and also for the family member and the caregiver. It helps nurses keep track of patients, and it helps patients keep track of things like medication and meetings. It's pretty good because if you have an appointment, they, you know, it tells you you have an appointment, don't miss it. And this is like a cognitive prosthesis, much like an artificial leg for an amputee. This is a, a smart home is a prosthesis for their mind. The technology can eventually be applied to patients with dementia and Alzheimer's. But for now, the focus is on veterans like Sergeant Torres, who continue to make strides toward a life outside the hospital. They tell me, well, that's on you too, you know, on me, to uh, get better. So I put my heart always, always to get better. The entire project was made possible thanks to a $3 million federal grant. Now, doctors hope to one day modify the technology so it can be implemented in patients' personal homes. Now, while, of course, this initial investment is going to be pretty pricey, they say it will greatly cut down on the cost of keeping vets institutionalized indefinitely. And really some fascinating stuff here. One of the things you touched on that I thought was so important is this can be used across the board with others probably as well. Yeah, we made brief mention of it, the fact that it can be applied to patients with dementia and Alzheimer's already is in some point. They're using that tracking technology. Unfortunately, though, in the case of those patients, the, the case will continue to get progressively worse. So this type of technology would really be beneficial, in essence, for those caregivers and nurses. Incredible.